voudrais à ce que le président de son appareil je keep, if we could keep uh, giving a class today on uh, Claude Ramachandra. like we have Janmashtami, appearance of Lord Sri Krishna, and then <coughs> Nandotsava, festival of Nanda Maharaj. And also for Gopuni, appearance of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, next day, Jagan Mishra. So I think, well, you know, why not uh, Dasharat Utsa <laughs> today? <coughs> because every, of course, you know, everybody fasted uh, uh, everything yesterday up to midnight point. Uh, I don't know if everybody is different. Don't go too long. We're waiting to break that fast this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be... Okay, anyway, that was a little introduction. Hare Krishna. So, uh, you never hear that, do you? On the appearance days of the Vishnu Tattva, normally you do, you have a fast, at least in the Kadashi fast, and a real feast is the next day. Yes, yes. It's like that, the tradition. Yeah. Some aspect of the tradition is like that, and uh, <coughs> since tradition is not the all in all, uh, sometimes the Acharya is allowed to make some change. So what happened in, in our tradition? This kind of that. Anyway, okay. So <coughs> I should do one verse. Let me think of it. Okay. So the verse will be chapter nine, Bhagavatam. No, Canto nine, chapter ten, verse fifty. It's, uh, it's the end of the, uh, this chapter, and he describes how Lord Ramachandra, uh, when he came back to his kingdom, Ayodhya, after the whole past times of reclaiming uh, Sita from Radhan, uh, how he, he was nicely received, and how he governed his kingdom. So that's one other aspect of Lord Ramachandra. <coughs> yeah. Maharaj yesterday uh, spoke a lot about uh, many aspects of Ramachandra, especially the, how to approach Lord Ramachandra following the footsteps of Hanuman. So we we'll see. So the verse, and uh, of course, how is it? What did you know? Je ne sais pas. Mais euh, pas je ne sais pas. 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 Je ne sais Agrahi dasanam bratra, Agrahi dasanam bratra, Pranipatya prasadita, Pranipatya prasadita, Raja svadharmani rata, Raja svadharmani rata, Varnashrama gunandita, Varnashrama gunandita, Jivo jugopa pitrivadramo, Tamu. Menire pitaram chatam. Menire pitaram chatam. Agrahida sanam bratra. Agrahida sanam bratra. Pranipatya prasadita. Pranipatya prasadita. Rajas vadarmani rata. 
Asanam, le trône de l'État. Bratra, par son frère Bharat. Pranipatya, après s'être complètement abandonné à lui. Prasadita, étant satisfait. Praja, les citoyens. Svadharma Nirata, pleinement absorbé par leurs devoirs respectifs. Varnashrama, d'après le système des Varna et des Ashram. Gunanvita, étant tous compétents dans ce processus. Jugopa, le Seigneur les protégea. Pitrivat, comme un père. Rama, Shri Ramachandra. Menire, il considérait. 
Itadam, comme un père. Cha, aussi. Tam, lui, Sri Ramachandra. Jai Sri Ram. That's not in the book. Translation. Oh, j'ai aussi le livre en français. Ok. Being pleased, being pleased by the full surrender and submission of Lord Bharat, Lord Ramachandra then accepted the throne as a state. He cared for the citizens exactly like a father, and the citizens, being fully engaged in their occupational duties of Varna and Ashram, accept, accepted him as their father. Il y a le livre en français. Madame Rapoli, par vous, je peux prendre le livre en français. Oh, ok. Purport. People are very fond of the pattern of Ram Rajya. And even today, politicians sometimes form a party called Ram Rajya. But unfortunately, they have no obedience to Lord Ram. It is sometimes said that people want the kingdom of God without God. Such an aspiration, however, is never to be fulfilled. Good government can exist when the relationship between the citizens and the government is like that exemplified by Lord Ramachandra and his citizens. Lord Ramachandra ruled his kingdom exactly as a father takes care of his children, and the citizens, being obliged to the good government of Lord Ramachandra, accepted the Lord as their father. Thus, the relationship between the citizens and the government should be exactly like that, between father and son. When the sons in a family are well trained, they are obedient to the father <laughs> and mother. And when the father is well qualified, he takes good care of the children. As indicated here by the words Fadharma Nirata Varnashrama Gunambita, the people were good citizens because they accepted the institution of Varna and Ashram, which arranges society in the Varna divisions of Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, and the Ashram divisions of Brahmacharya, Kriyasta, Vanaprastha, and Sanyas. This is actual human civilization. People must be trained according to the different Varna Ashram occupational duties, as confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 4.13, Chateau Varnia Maya Srishtam Munakarma Ibagasha, the four Varna must be established according to varying qualities and work. The first principle for good government is that it must institute this Varnashram system. The purpose of Varnashram is to enable people to become God conscious. Varnashrama Charavata Purushina Parapuman Vishnu Radhyate. The entire Varnashram Shem is intended to enable people to become Vaishnavas, Vishnu or Asyada Devata, when people worship Lord Vishnu as a supreme lord, they become Vaishnavas. Thus, people should be trained to become Vaishnava through the system of Varnashrama and Ashram, as they were during the reign of Lord Ramachandra, when everybody was fully trained to follow the Varnashram principles. Because simply enforcing laws and ordinances cannot make the citizens obedient and lawful. That is impossible. Throughout the entire world, there are so many states, legislative assemblies, parliaments, but still the citizens are rogues and thieves. Good citizenship, therefore, cannot be enforced. The citizens must be trained. Are there schools and colleges to train students to become chemical engineers, lawyers, or specialists in many other departments of knowledge? There must be schools and colleges to train students to become Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, Ramachari, Griyashta, Vanaprastha, Sanyas. This will provide the preliminary condition for good citizenship, Vanashrama Gunandita. Generally speaking, if the king or president is a Raja chief, the relationship between the citizens and the chief executive will be clear and there will be no possibility of disruption in the state because the number of thieves and rogues will decrease. However, in Kali Yuga, because the Varnashram system is neglected,
people are generally thieves and rogues. In the systems of democracy, such thieves and rogues naturally collect money from other thieves and rogues. And thus there is chaos in every government. No one is happy. But here, the example of good government is to be found in the reign of Lord Ramachandra. If people follow this example, there will be good government all over the world. I should go bad. Always uh, uh, finishing with a very positive Param Bijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtana. Very positive always. Yeah, very positive. But be positive doesn't mean you don't you, you don't see the good and bad of things. This is the goal. And the actual uh, reality which will happen. But of course, as sure we know, Sri yeah. Prabhupada was always also uh, mentioning longly uh, our uh, you know, uh, difficulties or obstacles before reaching the positive goal of developing uh, God consciousness, Krishna consciousness, love of God, Krishna Prema. Okay. So just go through, in, through the purport again. People are very fond of the pattern of Ram Rajya. Even today, politicians sometimes form a party called Ram Rajya, but unfortunately, they have no obedience to Lord Ram. Sometimes it is said that people want the kingdom of God without God, but such an aspiration is never to be fulfilled. Ram Rajya, he, but then Anuman servitorship, he, yeah. This was you know, nice explained yesterday, uh, Maharaj, that uh, uh, to understand, you know, so many people know about Ramayana all over the world, practically speaking, especially in Asia and India and all the Machandra. But what do they actually know, understand, realize, and change in their heart by this so called knowledge of Lord Ramachandra? If they don't follow in the footsteps of Anuman, the servant of Lord Ramachandra, yeah. unless one adopts the attitude of servitor, servitorship of the Supreme Lord, then uh, actually uh, there is no change of heart. Yeah. So, you know, like Bob Kalam, you get a Pasam, we have to accept. It's not so always, always easy to fully accept, but at least there should be this humble acceptance that, okay, I have to change my heart and become a servant of the Bhaktaram, you know, the proprietor, the enjoyer, and the friend. And then, yes, uh, some change of heart will happen, more or less fast, more or less slow, but it will happen and uh, we will reach the Supreme Goal of becoming really Krishna conscious or Ramachandra conscious or God conscious, really uh, uh, becoming uh, constitutionally happy. Yes, otherwise, hmm. As long as there is uh, aspiration for improving material condition through you know, karma, kanda, like that, or as long as there is a uh, tendency to uh, aspire for uh, liberation, freedom from uh, problems without servitorship to the law, humble submission then uh, bhakti cannot uh, manifest itself uh, peacefully. Uh, I like to, so that's what's point. And Ram Rajya, yeah, it's a few words on that. Yeah. Some politicians would like Ram Rajya, but kingdom of God without God. Well, you know, you know, that's, you know, okay. So, on one side we see, you know, that uh, like uh, in India, 
always, mm -hmm. since, every, since always, people are fond of this remembrance of Ram Kajya. Because it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Next verse, Lord Ramachandra became king during Treta Yuga, but because of his good government, the age was like Satya Yuga. Everyone was religious, completely happy. During the reign of Lord Ramachandra, the forests, rivers, hills, mountains, the states, the seven islands, and the seven seas were all favorable in supplying the necessities of life for all living beings. When Lord Ramachandra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, was the king of this world, all bodily and mental suffering, disease, old age, bereavement, lamentation, distress, fear, and fatigue were completely absent. There was not even no death for those who did not want it. And Lord Ramachandra uh, took a vow to accept only one wife, to have no connection with any other women. He was a saintly king, and everything in his character was good and tinged by qualities as, like anger. He taught good behavior for everyone, especially for householders in the realm of Ramachandra Dharma. Thus, he taught the general public by his personal activities. So Ram Rajya, yeah, it's very attractive. <coughs> but the little detail is that oh, all the citizens were accepting Lord Ramachandra as a supreme lord, and he was uh, behaving toward them as a father. So it was both surrender, but with a sense of affection. Both. Because if there is only uh, a demand for surrender, Sarva Dharma, Paritya, Mameka, Shalambaja, surrender, uh, uh, if it stops that, hmm, difficult, uh, Krishna is kind, he had Masucha, don't worry, uh, I will take out all your karmic difficulties, you know, which make it difficult to surrender, and even though it, I make it easier for you to surrender affectionately. I will take away also the fear of surrender. <laughs> it's very fear, it's fear, fearful for a conditioned soul, this idea of surrendering to a master. But unless there is, unless we have a master, we cannot be uh, really peaceful and happy and progress in our change of heart, unless there is a master. We are, we are dogs, and a dog is happy when he has his master moving his tail, you know, very happy. Uh, uh, but he is a stray dog, nobody. Hmm. He may look like Big Big, but you know, nobody is protecting him, and he, has, he doesn't have this complete <coughs> uh, constitutional position of being a, a servant protected by his father-like master. So, yeah. Yeah, people want Ram Rajya, and uh, even today we see that uh, there is uh, some nice, you could say, nice tendency to put, you know, the Lord, especially Lord Ram, in India, and which is uh, uh, certainly not a bad thing. Yes, but we have to see if it is uh, really Lord Ram, <coughs> like some uh, uh, politician. Uh, he said, yes, this is great, India, and that. Uh, we are installing again, you know, Lord Ram, <coughs> uh, Chandra, temple for all of India, everywhere. But of course, but of course, we all know that ultimately the law has no form. <laughs> that was a little uh, addendo, you know. So, you know, if the law has no, I mean, if there is no actual law, uh, no master, then we are all, uh, what are we all? No, no but if we don't accept, if, if, we, if we say that, uh, okay, we can put a, a deity, we can put a goal of uh, beautiful rivers and, and peace and love and this and that, but you don't have to surrender to a real master eternally. Yeah, yeah, and we are unhappy. You know, we may, we may show, okay, like I'm shanty, I'm happy, this and that, you know, and you see uh, my garden is beautiful, my uh, country is uh, nice, but, you know, in the heart, huh, there is still this uh, envy 
and years of Supreme Law, and that will reappear soon or later. Arura Krishna Parampara Prata Param Tato Yusmadna Hitambaraya. If we neglect to uh, um, worship, uh, surrender, uh, then you know, this uh, envy of the Lord, which burning, you know, is very bad in our heart. So, but it's not easy, and we know that by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, <laughs> he made it even easier. You know, Krishna takes away the difficulties, takes away the fear of surrender, but positively, Lord Chaitanya, he gives positively the attraction to surrender. Yes, uh, that's very nice. Attraction for surrender. Now, oh, shoot, I bore you. Uh, this is a need. Huh? We are Generally, people are innocent, you can say, and uh, they just need some encouragement. We should not be too, uh, too uh, uh, heavy or accusating. You see, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, have, we have to be very heavy for those who uh, openly uh, promote no God, no form, uh, merging in the absolute. Krishna is not really Krishna. There is somebody above Krishna, then we have to be very strong, yes. But people who have no knowledge of what is really God, what is really bhakti, what is really surrender, surrender and love, love of Krishna as a God, then we have to try as much as possible to help them and with oneself also. We have to recognize that uh, it's not easy to surrender to a master or a condition soul, but uh, with humble uh, gratefulness to Guru and Goranga, uh, we know that uh, we will achieve it uh, if we follow the path. Okay, that was one point. And no, I, I cannot concentrate. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like uh, good questions. Okay, obedience, uh, and after Prabhupada said, uh, oh yes, father and children, uh, uh, Lord Ramachandra, he, he governed uh, like a father. Uh, he was strong, we know, he was not uh, uh, closing his eyes on the b bad behavior of some people, very strong, like Maharaj Parikh Sheet, you know, uh, like, you know, he was still against his heart, he did his duty. So, Ramach, but his heart was like a father. Like a father, he has to chastise his children. You know? But how does he do it? Because he's proud, I am the father, you are the children. You are, you know, I am, I know, you don't know. Uh, no, he is a servant, like you know, any leader. Guru Nasasya is a, you know, guru, uh, king, or government, or father, mother, or whatever. They are servant leaders, <coughs> servants. There is some position, duty of training and, and showing the defects. So that's a, the, the duty, service. But inside, there is affection, like, you know, you know, and, and humble affection. You know, like, uh, like Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, a well little book where you, many letters that he was writing to his disciples. And we know he was not uh, so soft in his uh, appearance and preaching. And when he was preaching to his, you know, you did that wrong, you know, what is that? You know, he was clear, saying the truth. And at the end of many of his letters, written, but who am I to chastise you? You know, I am, you know, Myself, full of defect as that, please forgive me, but it is my duty to help you to progress. So that's, you know, good, good leader, you know, like a father. Uh, and uh, any, any leader uh, is like that, or is aspiring to be more and more like that. And citizens or dependents, they are like children. Uh, they may react against authority, that's understandable. At least you can say that, you know. or at least or at most, <laughs> or so. But in their heart, they are, they, are, they, they are grateful. Oh, so good to have a leader, so good to have somebody to whom I can obey, you know, and uh, 
Thank you for taking this difficult position, my dear brother. We are all brothers and sisters. We are all, you know, I'm sure we are all uh, 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 part and parcel of the law. But, you know, like in school, sometimes the, 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 the teacher, he puts one student in charge of others because he has to go for a few hours somewhere. So it's like that. Uh, relationship between uh, uh, citizens, governments, children, parents, uh, employees, and, and boss, uh, rank and file, let's say, rank and file devotees and leaders, whoever they are, Guru, GDC, Temple President, and uh, uh, it's like that. You know, there is this duty to be performed, and it's a beautiful duty uh, to organize things properly, like after Parnashram. Organize things properly, you know, like in, in French, it's a thing. Chaque chose sa place, et une place pour chaque chose. Chacun a sa place, <laughs> une place pour chacun. Then everything can function. You know. So this is practical, but we know the goal of this Varnashram, of this organization, is for everybody to develop God consciousness. You know, same. You know, if you go back to Godel uh, uh, after a life as a Brahman or a Shudra or a Sanyasi or a Grihastha, you, know, you go back to Godel. <laughs> you don't, no matter. No. So that's the main thing. So that means we can go to the next point, but this Varnashram. Prabhupada said that, uh, yeah, people were good citizens because they accepted the institution of Varnashram. Oh, really, true. So, uh, not to make it uh, a new class on Varnashram, you know, but I can, I would say one point. It means, uh, uh, everybody was honest. <laughs> That's simple. You know, maybe different ways to say things. Huh? But I say this: everybody was honest in his life. You know, honest life. Honest life in his varnashram. Honest life in his family life. You know, and uh, you know, and honest life in his uh, uh, professional or like that. You know, honest profession and honest uh, family life. Okay, you guys, not is not always. Often, it's not easy to be, uh, you know, ekapat nivo, you know, one wife, one ma one husband only, and strict like this, and profession, you know. Okay, do it. it's not easy. Everything is like that. So we do the best we can, but at least we should strive for it sincerely. And as devotees, we are the fuel to uh, do better, at least, and more and better, and better than uh, others who don't have the Hare Krishna mantra and guidance. So, yes, family life should be, you know, Varnashram should be honest, you know, not take it lightly, very, you know, be responsible, honest and responsible. Uh, that makes oneself uh, strong and peaceful, tolerate difficulties, that makes our dependence uh, uh, confident, which is great asset in life, when you, oh, uh, I am confident, you know, I, uh, in my family it was serious and responsible. And that makes the uh, community of the, the country, of the world, also peaceful. Uh, yeah, and work same. You know, we have to slowly develop this, you know, honest work, if possible, related to uh, nature life, natural life, yeah. agriculture, cow protection, communism. Okay, so Varnashram. And Prabhupada finished also saying that uh, um, uh, it's a good point, Varnashram. Okay, we understand the, the need to have a good structure, uh, but the, never forget that the goal is to become God conscious, not just a happy kingdom of God without God, God conscious. And he finished by saying, but it is not simply by the idea or by some laws enforcing this by force without training. 
So there must be some education. You cannot impose the children to be, you know, obedient, don't do this, don't do that. No. There must be some affectionate education. Education is not easy. It's easy to give directions. It's not easy to uh, make them digested by the person. So that requires, you know, duty and feelings. You know. So, yeah, and uh, okay. Whew, I go. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, uh, Prabhupada feels uh, thieves and rogues. You know. And thieves uh, and rogues. Yes. We are th we are thieves and rogues. Rocks means saltive. Uh, uh, crapule, c'est un peu. Crapule. <laughs> il, il a assassiné 15 grand-mères, violé 10 petites filles, crapule. Bon, on n'est quand même pas tous comme ça. Hein. Mais, euh, on est encore. On est encore un petit peu thieves and rocks. Not in our desire, but thieves. You know, we still want to enjoy the property of the law. We are thieves. No? We still want, we, you know, like that. Uh, and rocks, we don't want to admit that sometimes in front of others or in front of ourselves. That's not, not nice. Honest, honesty, you know. Uh, okay. But uh, being positive, yes. How to do it? Let's go back to Anumanji. Uh, Anuman, he was uh, uh, obedient servant. Uh, you remember the well-known classic prayer, uh, one amongst all his prayers, Anuman. Yeah, oh my Lord, yeah, if you yeah. want to give me some something nice, some blessing, yeah. whatever, yeah. Uh, I don't want yeah. this uh, so-called liberation. Please give me whatever you have, but so that I never forget that I am your servant, yeah. and I never forget that yeah. you are my master. Yeah. So to reach that, Never forget that we are, you know, humble servant, part and parcel of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And that the Lord is uh, a person, he is a proprietor, a supreme enjoyer, supreme father, friend. Oh, yeah, that, uh, uh, that requires uh, God. Anibal, did I go permanently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anibal, yes. So, uh, yes. And what do they, how do they do that? Well, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving us, is giving peace and uh, prosperity in general to everybody. If you perform your Jagya, Sankirtan Jagya, as an offering to Vishnu, yes, then you'll be free from karma abandonment. You'll be free from the reactions of all your material activities and being you know, tied in all these problems like that. You'll be free. Why? Because Jagya, uh, Krishna said right after that, he said that uh, Jagya are prescribed in the scriptures. And scriptures come for directly from the Supreme Personality of God. Therefore, God, or personality of Godhead is present in the Jagya. So if we uh, perform the Sankirtan Jagya, chanting Hare Krishna, uh, without going back to sinful activities, you know, which means without offenses, then, yes, in general, at least, there will be uh, purification. There will be peace and prosperity. I want to read Prabhupada a few words that he said in the next verses. Everything was nice, okay. Purport, there is no, no bodily mental suffering, no bereavement, no anger, no fear of this. Purport, all these facilities existed because Lord Ramachandra's presence as a king of the entire world. A similar situation could be introduced immediately, even in this age of Kali, the worst of all ages. He said, Kali Kali Nam Rupa Krishna Vata. Krishna descends in this Kali Yuga in the form of his holy name, Hare Krishna Hare Ram. If we chant offenselessly, Ram and Krishna are still present in this age, 
the kingdom of Ram was immensely popular and beneficial, and the spreading of this Hare Krishna movement can immediately introduce a similar situation, even in this Kali Yuga. Yeah, it's very noticeable. And these few verses, Prabhupada stressed it even after also, he said. Uh, no, just before. Also, he was in Treta Yuga, still under and, and Radha it was all Satya Yuga. And Prabhupada pushed it further. Uh, even in this age of Kali, the situation of Satya Yuga can be invoked. The Hare Krishna movement or Krishna consciousness movement is meant for this purpose. Yeah. That's you know very interesting and strong. Of course, Prabhupada, you know, said and, and explained to us on different levels. Uh, another purpose we read not long ago. He said uh, this Hare Krishna movement is meant to bring us all to inside the Rasa dance. You no, know? okay. And there he said this Hare Krishna movement is meant for the purpose of invoking. The situation of Satya Yu. Uh, if people take to this Sankirtan movement of chanting Hare Krishna Hari Ram, they will certainly be free from the contamination of Kali Yuga and they will be happy in this age as people in Satya Yu, the golden age. One need only anywhere, anyone, chant the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, observe the rules and regulations, and stay free the contamination of sinful life. So Prabhupada knew Mayapur, as far as I remember, he, and uh, it's noticed. He spoke mainly like that. He spoke both on the level of pure love of God, many times. You know, God of is to love Krishna. It's not difficult to love Krishna. And, or, or he also speak a lot about uh, just chant Hare Krishna, be happy, but don't go back to sinful activities. So here say the same thing, you know, chant without uh, sinful activities, chant offenselessly. If we chant with offense, means, you know, what are the offenses, you know, first one, of course, is uh, to blaspheme the devotees, you know, that's, you know, first big, uh, we have to be careful, you know, there's always some uh, Nice devotee attractive to Hode, and always some devotees, you know, uh, some other, always, you know, throwing, you know, bad things. So, anyway, but the second offense, you know, don't put anybody, demigods, anyway, on the same level of God or higher than Him, you know, impersonalism. Don't put that, you know, don't, this is an offense. You know, be your servant like Anuman, always. And, and, uh, and even if we cannot fully surrender, uh, in the depth of the heart. Yeah, that's the goal. Just like we had, you know, this past days, two of our uh, uh, brothers, you know, devotees, who left this world, Jagadish Prabhu and Valiyavapu Prabhu. Uh, you know, these, as far as I remember them, they were like, you know, natural devotees. They just came in, Krishna consciousness movement like that, and boom, immediately, yes, Prabhupada surrender, Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead, like that. Although there were characters, you know, there were special characters, let's say, let's say, not, not easy. I have a book, Prabhu ki jai, and Jagadish Prabhu ki jai, but there, you know, balance, you know, the, uh, the difficulty of dealing with them balance with uh, attraction to their natural, you know, yeah. attraction to or surrender, uh, maybe love, I don't know, uh, uh, don't judge, to, to Krishna and Guru. Wow, that's, you know, Haribo, Hare Krishna. <laughs> so, uh, uh, well, the, the last part of this little purport, mm -hmm. Prabhupada said, Hare Krishna is meant for that. Mm -hmm. Chant Hare Krishna, everybody, mm -hmm. and everybody will be happy, and Stay f we have to stay free from offenses and sinful life. Mm. Oh, there is a little end to it. Even if one is sinful mm. and cannot give up sinful life, immediately. If it chants the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with devotion and faith, mm. you know, the spirit of Anuman, mm. with devotion and faith, not just uh, mm. for pleasure, 
chanting, you know, rock thing, or all kind of devotion in rock, kirtan, like that. Or impression of, oh, you know, I am floating in uh, Brahman. If you simply chant the Hare Krishna Mantra with devotion in faith, will be certainly free, certainly free from all sinful activities, and his life will be successful. Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. This is a blessing of Lord Ramachandra, who has appeared in this age of Kali as Lord Gorasundar. Wow, Shri Prabhupada Vijay. Shoo. All right, okay, it's nine. It's time for questions and answers of people. Uh, Shri Prabhupada, Ki Jai, Shri Ram, Ki Jai, Anumanji, Ki Jai. Yeah, as important. They are gone. They both left their bodies in their houses with no one around. Yeah. To discover days later. Yeah. Different circumstances may be there. Uh, natural desire is to leave our body with our family, you know. But sometimes it happens. We cannot judge always if it is or uh, it's, uh, why we did not. Or, you know, Bhakti Charles from Israel, he left his body alone in a, in a hospital room, no devotee, nobody. You know. And you know, that was. Uh, arrangement of the Lord for his very dear devotee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, it happens to those two, Jagadadish Prabhu and Vayala Prabhu. You know, devotees sometimes they try their best, but uh, not that we have no heart. You know, many devotees went to see Vayala Prabhu and uh, Jagadadish recently or so. You know, but some others they were also living by themselves. What can we do? Jai, so what is it? Yes. We, uh, uh, in the beginning, you talked and you used the word I didn't understand. You were very confused. You said something about you have to envy of the Lord or envy. You used the word envy, and in English, in my head, I could not understand how we can say to have envy of God, or maybe I was. Uh, with the translation. Yes, yes. What do you want to say by envy? Because for me, envy is in different quality. It's not so fine or uplifted. But yeah, it's, uh, it's very striking that uh, envy, envy, yes, yes, is presented in yes. Shastra, Matsa, uh, yes. and, and, uh, and in Prabhupada's words, envy, very, you know, that's a real problem, that's a deep, yes. deeper scene, you know? And in common language, you know, and our common understanding, okay, you know, so it requires some uh, meditation, a bit of an advancement, gradual, to realize why it is like envy is a real enemy. Uh, yeah. Um, so because it is not easy to understand uh, what is this envy as a law, envy, maybe it's easier to understand positively. Yeah, it's difficult to become a servant. A servant, a real servant, cannot be envious of no, the master. That's why I was confused. Yeah, you know, if you are a real servant, I mean, you, you, not only you obey, you, you surrender, but also you you surrender willingly. Otherwise, you you will you will uh, uh, be be betray betray trahir betray. Eh? Yeah, we will betray you, Master, one day or the other. To Kokwe Mifili. To Kokwe Mifili, you know? To Kokwe Mifili. Brutus and César. You know, he was he was adopted son of César. César. But he, he was envious of César. And uh, César thought that, oh, Brutus, my dear, I am so kind with him, this and that. Forever he will be my, you know. And one day, Brutus was in years, and <laughs> came, you know. Impersonally, Mayavadi, you know, oh yes, love, and Hare Krishna, even God, 
Ram, like that. And then, oh, now I feel very good, eh? Get away, God, get away, Krishna. Bhakti, oh, you know, I love everybody, only not, not Krishna, not God, you know. No. Envy, yeah, we are envious because master, enjoyer, friend. We want to be, uh, you know, we want to be master like him. We want to be enjoyer like him. We want to be friend. Everybody knows I am your friend. Oh, good, that's good. So, you know, that's envy. But it requires uh, important, it's necessary to <coughs> meditate on that. What is, why is it envy? And if we are honest, we will gradually be freed from this. Yeah. The only thing that we cannot engage in Krishna service is envy. Difficult. Honestly, it's difficult to be freed from envy of God. Huh? Be freed from trying to, you know, proprietor. And nothing becomes belongs to me. Absolutely nothing. Never. I am a thief. And I am a rogue. I don't recognize that. Enjoyer. What is that? Life is for happiness, but no enjoyment for me, only he is enjoying. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Difficult to, uh, you know, by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, everything, you know, everything belongs to him. Yukta Viradhyaya. Oh, that's okay. Everything belongs to him, but we can use, he's giving us things to use for him. Oh, so we can use gasol, flowers, money, family life, whatever. We can use intelligence for Krishna. And then, oh, we share his enjoyment. We live in the same kingdom. So, you know, Ramachandra citizens were very happy, but they were not the enjoyers, they were not the proprietors, they were not the supreme friend, they were humble servants. And uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, he came to help us to develop this mood, uh, Anuman mood. Uh, you, know, you, know, you are kind with me, my Lord. You can give me whatever you like, but please don't tempt me. No temptation that, oh, now I'm, I don't need you. No, I am the master. And, no, always uh, targeting this goal. Oh, when will that day be mine that I will be uh, totally and happily just servant, nothing for, you know, prananat, mat prananat, uh, you know, whatever you do or you want. You are the Lord of my life. Yeah, that's, that's the ultimate satisfaction of the soul. Yeyatma prasidati, you know, the ultimate, uh, Beautiful, happy duty in life. I took here pratyata, bhaktiya, bhakti, you know, to serve without interest, no interruption, and only we are very satisfied. Wow, is it? The idea seems beautiful. If we are, you know, like the, even the, the Queen of England, if, oh, that must be really beautiful, eh? if complete surrender to, to Krishna when she read Bhagavad Gita. Oh, must be very beautiful. The idea. But to, to, to actually reach that, it's possible by the mercy of, you know, I would say, Guru and Goranga, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Provided we don't cheat, we have to be honest. Chant Hare Krishna and no sinful activities, at least in our goal. Uh, because I am a servant. I would like to reach that. Goranga, Bolitiadi, when I will chant, you know, with tears, with real affection, it will come. It will go, no doubt, no fear. It will go. We will reach, you know, God consciousness, servantship. We will reach full affection, relationship, direct relationship with Krishna. Yes, this is a promise of the Guru Parampara, Lord Chaitanya, Sri Prabhupada. And, he, and Prabhupada is always very positive and very uh, immediate. Yes. You have, immediately you have to do this, you can do it, it's possible. 
immediately the world can become happy like you know, you know it's not like try it you know and maybe one day later you will do it that, that may be a fact but the, our leader our father our guru he is encouraging us yes you know go full full speed yourself whatever is your speed give it give yourself completely as much as you can and you will you will do it yes don't put it aside oh that was for me uh, oh it's enough for me no positive jai alibo jai you cannot do it alone you have to do it with teachers bamba practice it's not possible yeah. you said the grace can touch you but in fact you really have to do it with all the paraphernalia it's not the word ja. with all the points around ja. that will be the last word very good alibo Thank you. 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 Thank you.